Good morning. This is uh, Rick Moore, the Resourceful Human, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to our channel where we talk about uh, all things entrepreneurial from uh, running a small business as we do here. We own a, uh, a national human resources business, um, as well as all the things that we've learned about running that business, everything from operations to sales to marketing, to sales automation, which is what we're going to talk about today. So if you like what you hear, I'd ask you to please like, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up below, and please subscribe to our channel. It helps us spread the word. So uh, thank you for being here today. So what we're going to talk about today is the beginnings of sales automation, right? And how big companies sell and how little companies can mimic or mirror exactly what those companies are doing. So what you're looking at on our screen here today is a is the scene from the classic 1992 movie Glen Gary Glen Ross. And the cast was unbelievable if you remember that movie. You know, it was Alec Baldwin and Ed Harris and Al Pacino and and Bob Lemon and uh, Alan Arkin and Kevin Spacey and all these amazing amazing actors. But the movie was an amazing movie. And it was really uh as I was coming up in the 90s as a sales rep, as a lead production person, this was kind of the, this was the godfather of sales movies, right? That's what this was. And in this scene with Alec Baldwin, this great scene, his first line was one iconic, coffee is for closers, right? And as he's berating the sales team, because their role in that movie and in that time was to go out and pick up the phone, call somebody at their home, try to have a meeting, which they called the sit, and then get them to sign a contract, right? And that was the old way of selling until mid-2020, uh, March of 2020, that all changed. But just to kind of bring you back to this movie and the way that we used to sell, which was in behind, you could see here, A, always, B, B, C, closing, A, B, C, always be closing. And on this side, his other, his other advice was A, I, D, A, A, do I have your attention? I, do I have your interest, right? D, are you going to make a decision? He made it more, he said it more colorfully than I am, but, and then the final A was, are you going to act, right? So that was the old way of selling, right? Until 2020. Now things have changed. Think about how we buy things. We go onto a website. We kind of know what we want. We go onto a website. We put in some information to get some sort of white paper or download, right? And, or offer. And then all of a sudden, we get an email about the offer. We get a couple of days later, we get a phone call from one of their reps. We get, you know, all of a sudden they're showing up in our social media. We are now in their web. Now they start to learn about us. They start to message us. And they're using the power of automation and technology to do this millions and millions and millions and millions of times over without having to go on a sit, as Alec Baldwin would tell us, right? So there's a different process. And for small businesses, we too can uh, go after the same process, right? And and use automation that's relatively inexpensive technology to do similar things that these larger companies are doing to us. So this is our CRM system. We use Zoho. There's lots of them out there. There's Salesforce and HubSpot and all these other kinds of great systems. So you can find one that works for you and your business. And then you can customize it to, um, to see what's going on. So for instance, in my world, I'm not going into the weeds on this video, but just at a high level, this is my dashboard. So when I open up my dashboard, I can see all the tasks that all my team have and what they're doing and what, and what level of completion they are, right? It's very important. But then what happens is once someone gets into our system and we have a, I think about 60,000 contacts in here, um, when we, when we go through the system, uh, we send 52,000 emails a week, a month. So when we go through the system, we are getting people to do things just like those larger companies. So we use sales automation, just like those larger companies. And what we do is we build out a process. So if someone comes on our website, puts in for a white paper or some sort of offer, they are now going through that same process. And at a high level, again, not going into the weeds, this is what a sales process or a campaign process looks like in, uh, in, in our CRM system. 
So you're multiplying your ability to reach people, right? And unlike Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, where you had to send one sales rep to make one sale, now the machine is almost becoming a sales rep or your sales force, right? And you can deploy it in certain aspects till you get to a point where you say, this lead is ready to be closed. Now let me bring in the sales team, the sales rep and, and finalize the deal and depending on your sales process. So when they come into our website, they do something, they have a response, there's waits, then there's follow-up messages. And depending on what that person does, the machine reads it and then follows those messages, just like these very large companies. So as you can see then, what it makes more important is how do you get people to, to, to interact with your website or give you permission to email them, give you permission, very important, right? Make sure that check is checked off. We don't wanna be spammy. So the way to do this is to build out your CRM system so that it automates much like that large company that you put in your information, all of a sudden you're getting phone calls from, right? Additionally, it monitors our social media posts, right? So as we all know, social media sp specifically as, um, as um, um, you know, the, um, we went into mid 2020 and selling change, the ability to reach people using technology was very important. How do we keep our message out there, right? And in the beginning, many of us did it just to how do we stay alive? But as you start to see the benefits of this and start to tie it together, you start to give the, the ability for people to search your product, to then search you or your business, interact with your website, then they go into the system, then you can social media message them, you can email message them, in some cases SMS text them, there's lots of different things that can be done. But the most important thing is that sales automation, unlike Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, is the wave of future for selling for the foreseeable future. Uh, <laughs> say that many times fast. So um, sales automation, very high level video today. We'll get more into it in subsequent videos as it's one of the most important things. So the old saying, coffee is for closers, although an awesome line, a great movie, a great scene, great acting. Don't know how relevant it is today. So as always, um, we ask you that if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Uh, please sh subscribe to our channel. Uh, those two things, those two small two small gestures have a cumulative effect of the goals that we're trying to reach, which is to have 30,000 subscribers by September 1st, 2022. So just about a year from now. So uh, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all you do. Uh, stay human and stay resourceful.